what's up this is mrs mesh once again um i just wanted to do this intro so anyways excuse Ooh, baby <laughs> anyways let me stop talking to my welcome back so today we're gonna go out for dinner with the girl so we thought you know what i'm talking Rizzo Cocas, okay? Rizzo Cocas is fast. Ribonana, Ricote, and then go do our wifely Makoti duties when we go to our respective homelands. So I'm still a bit of a mess. I'll catch you guys when I finish, ne? Excuse the music. I like to jam to old school music while I'm doing my makeup. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Oh, once again, subscribe. Ne? Let me finish. I'm almost late, guys. Hi, guys. So, let's um, clay into some of how to get clay and what clay cafe. So, apparently, you buy like um, a ceramic plate or something. Or like a ceramic something and then um you paint it while you chill and eat and drink so i wasn't gonna vlog when i left because my life was a mess as you can see i must still blend my forehead and then we're sitting in the car now and we're gonna do that and then we're gonna get inside and then i'm gonna show you what's going on i didn't even put lashes on that's how my life is like but anyways uh Shimano Limon or what I must have of Logia Gadi breaks the snacks. But, anyways, yeah. It keep Lene, then it can come her in sight. Jimela, Lipiti, the right, the right, literally the laptop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm laptop. Pick a ceramic. So here, there's different types of things: shoes, mugs. I think that's a butter thing. Piggy banks. You choose what you want, and then there's prices: small, medium, I think, and large, according to the ceramic that you picked. You pick whatever you want. I don't know why Sharon is dancing there. It makes no sense to me. And then yeah. Pick paint. So these are the different shades and colors of paint that they actually have. And then it shows you what they're going to look like once they've been put like in the furnace. So you have to choose, I think, three. We've picked. This is mine. I'm picking it for Baby Mash. And I think Sharon has got a tray. You have to dip it in water apparently to clean it out, if I'm not mistaken. 
and then here is um what you're going to use actually to paint so you put it on that rolling thing and yeah you paint on it i think that's me guys is she that looks like an egg holder actually so we're just picking out um what we're going to put our ceramic stuff on to paint that's gonna make it way easier for us to do the job now we're picking our tools there's different types of tools to pick crayons different brushes sponge brushes pencils stickers you name it small paint brushes big paint brushes whatever you want and now this lovely lady is going to give us a tutorial on how small bottles here and then the water in here you'll mix water slowly adding it to your paint until it's a consistency of pouring cream once it is then you're ready to start creating we recommend that you do three layers of paint at most three thin layers if it gets too thick you can either damage the like ceramic or your design when it's fire then the masking tape the stickers and the crayon are both all placed before you paint so you put those down first then put your three layers of paint afterwards you don't have to remove these unless you plan on painting in the space underneath the basket tape or the stickers because they'll burn off in the kiln mm -hmm. with the vinyls or the stencils the stencils are the hard plastic ones so like you've got there the vinyls are the glue stickers so the stencils will obviously come up by themselves, you don't have to worry about that. But the vinyls, the dark blue stickers, these I will need you to remove afterwards. So you'll stick them down using a sponge, you'll paint, just dab the paint in nicely. Once it's dry, you'll then remove the plastic sticker. With the scratching technique, you'll paint your three layers first. Once it is dried, you then use a nail and scratch into it. You want to make sure that you get you see the nice white ceramic underneath. That way you get the nice clean lines and it'll actually show through when it's fired. Then with the little dotter bottle, so those are the short ones on the right hand side of the table. If you do get one of those, please also bring with you a paper clip. That's in order to clear the nozzle because the paint dries quite quickly so it can block a lot of the time. Um, so once you've cleared it, you can test it on your spinning wheel or on the table first before on your ceramic and you'll squeeze gently. Um, they have been prone to pop open and spill, so that's why we recommend not putting any of your ceramic until you're sure it's clear. And then you can paint anywhere on your ceramic, absolutely anywhere. Don't put anything precious or important to you on the rims. Those get wiped down so that the ceramic doesn't stick when it's fired. Uh, otherwise, besides that, you can paint whatever you want, wherever you want. That's perfectly fine. And then the second most important thing is your reference number. So this I will bring to you just now, and I'll need you to either scratch it on, paint it on, or use a dot to bottle. Um, if you have any other questions during the process, you're more than welcome to ask me, but otherwise, have a good time. All right. Cool, thank you. Instagram winner. Always. Yay. Yes. Okay. 
So what like you break it in the dark? In a shop. That's what it looks like so far. We're gonna put it in the furnace, then we pick it up in two weeks. So this is the info, guys. Thanks for watching.